Hi folks, Mark Allen, BH Spring Solutions LLC, and we're here today to talk about the 1911 Fast Safety, uh, previously known as the SFS. It's been in use and continuous service for about 25 years, and I think there is a tendency in the uh, firearms world and among firearms owners when there's something new um, or that is perceived as new um, to look at it as, well, that's a solution to a non-existent problem or, um, you know, what's wrong with the 1911 as it is. And the answer is, in and of itself, there's nothing wrong with the 1911 as it is. There was never anything wrong with the 1911 as it was originally made by John Browning. Um, since the original 1911 by John Browning, we have made 1911s in just about every configuration you can imagine. Um, about every barrel length you can imagine between three and six inches. Um, aluminum frames, compacts, officer size models, ultra compacts, uh, target pistols that take the barrel length the other direction. Um, we've had the caliber that was created and invented for the uh, 1911 put into uh, carbine rifles. Um, so uh, in and of itself, the 1911 and the 45 ACP round, there's nothing inherently wrong with either of them. And I think if you start looking at the 1911 fast safety as some sort of a negative judgment about the 1911, that's really not um, that's really not the picture, I guess you'd say, um, of what the 1911 fast safety is and what it does. First of all, it is certainly no negative judgment of the 1911 design. It is a very positive endorsement because it is a what we would call a 21st century modification for the 1911 pistol. And real quickly, the basics, what the, 19, what the fast safety does for the 1911, the normal, um, this is a Browning 1911-22, they make an identical same size 1911-380 that um, has been kind of embraced as a, as a civilian carry pistol. And it has uh, a, a hammer situation like a traditional 1911 where you are hammer uh, cocked and the safety on known as cocked and locked meaning that you only need to pull off the safety uh, grip the weapon and you can fire the weapon at that point that is what condition one means the 1911 fast safety system simply uses hammer forward position but when you pull off the safety, the hammer cocks to the rear and you are in the same condition as a traditional operating system uh, when you pull off the manual safety. You're cocked and unlocked. And then when you go back on safe with the fast safety system, you simply push the hammer forward, the safeties cam up. On the traditional operating system, you push the manual safety up and the hammer stays cocked. One of the major differences is this profile. If you'll take a look at that, we're going to talk a little more in depth about that, but that's the basics. It does not change the manual of arms about the 1911 at all. You are still in this position, truly cocked and locked. You are only a uh, pull off of the cocking levers or the manual safety and your hammer is right there in its traditional cocked position ready to fire, which is what you want. And the theory is that when you are not firing the weapon, the hammer is just as good to you in this position and probably better for you in that position than uh, in the cocked position. We're going to demonstrate real quickly why that is. But um, it, what I'm going to show to you now is... Uh, the difference between uh, the fast safety system, formerly known as the SFS, um, and your uh, other pistols that can be carried cocked and locked as an example. This is an FNX 45. By the way, all of these pistols have been multiple times uh, safety checked. All are clear of any ammunition. This is an FNX 45. One of the reasons I like this pistol is I can carry it cocked and locked because I am very much a condition one carry guy. 
Um, that's what I personally practice. That's what I advocate to uh, anyone who uh, comes in contact with us that uh, this is the way to carry your defensive firearm in a condition of readiness. I like this from the standpoint, this is a double action, single action pistol. I can use it like a single action. Now that it's cocked, the safety manual safety is on. I'm a pull off of the safety away from being able to fire the weapon. Um, and I've also got this protruding cocked hammer. And that is where, for me, things start to get a little bit more important. Um, uh, I also love the CZ-75 uh, pistol. One of the reasons, it is a double action, single action. I don't particularly care for that because I don't use the double action part. Um, if I carry this weapon, um, it is the hammer is cocked, the manual safety is on, 1911 style, cocked and locked. Um, that's one of the reasons why, uh, rather than having a decocker, um, this pistol allows me that condition one carry. Um, one of the reasons I like this uh, CZ-75. Um, same way for the high power design, single action, um, and it's normally carried cocked and locked. Um, here is a traditional operating system, uh, 1911, and I'm going to demonstrate for you one of the things that um, many people who embrace the fast safety system embrace it because they use their firearm in a defensive role, particularly personal concealed carry. Personal concealed carry typically implies I'm carrying this weapon under clothing and I'm going to need to deploy it from under clothing and clear the clothing if I ever have to use that firearm defensively. And uh, one of the easiest things to demonstrate is this. Um, that cocked hammer loves to grab this shirt and it doesn't let go. So that for me is a tactical problem and it's one of the reasons why the, uh, for me, the FNX series of double action, single action pistols, the nine millimeters, the forties are made uh, very same, just a little scale down from this uh, larger 45 version, but I get the same effect every time that I try to do this, that cocked hammer just grabs clothing. Same way with the CZ-75, I would carry it like this, and when I'm trying to clear the t-shirt, it just grabs on. That's a tactical disadvantage for me if I'm uh, assuming that any defensive use of my firearm would require fast, sure deployment. Um, here's a high power, uh, modified with the high power fast safety system. It has hammer forward, pull the safety off, Hammer comes rearward. Now the no-snag hammer, it creates a profile that looks like this and it clears the clothing just virtually every time and no problem. Even when I'm pulling up, it clears the clothing. It does not grab on. Um, a 1911 uh, with the fast safety system with a good quality pair of grips that guide you to a nice high handhold even in spite of this beaver tail. I can repeatedly clear the t-shirt. This profile is not, is not clothes grabbing um, type of a profile. It works for me on this officer's model as well. A nice hold on the grip, the beaver tail in the hand won't grab clothing. The hammer likewise doesn't grab my clothing. So that's one of the real tactical advantages that the fast safety system brings to the table. Personally, I like in my own handguns, uh, my 1911s and my high powers, I like this hammer forward condition. The reason being, there's no doubt in my mind that this pistol is in and on safe position. Um, the hammer is forward. That means that the safety is activated. Actually, multiple safeties are activated. That works for me. It's also much more comfortable to carry than the profile with a cocked hammer. Uh, that just doesn't feel good no matter, uh, no matter how thin you are. Uh, that cock hammer in your side fat is not a good thing. Same way on the CZ-75. This is a much more carryable profile and it, doesn't intend, it does not tend to uh, get uncomfortable to carry. But for me, most importantly, it is not uh, a profile that 
naturally grabs onto clothing. Some of the other things about the uh, 1911 fast safety. Traditionally, the 1911 does not have a uh, manual safety lever on the right side of the pistol. The fast safety adds ambidextrous safety. The tactical versions of the fast safety adds an extended slide stop that puts the slide stop in reach of uh, my thumb and I can easily manipulate it without changing my hand position. Another uh, tactical advantage this gives me, I do like to practice ambidextrous and using my non-dominant hand it adds a uh, ambidextrous magazine catch and of course the uh, ambidextrous manual safety lever. So it, in, in essence what we're trying to say is the 1911 fast safety system should not in any way be um, taken as a negative judgment about the 1911 in and of itself uh, whatsoever. Um, it should be looked at as what it is, which is a series or a combination of enhancements to uh, the best pistol design in history, quite frankly, um, and, and proven as so. And um, you know, for, for particularly folks who have a, uh, their 1911s in service and concealed carry, this combination of benefits and there's additional benefits. Um, better uh, trigger pull is common with the fast safety system when it's installed. Um, uh, increased uh, comfort and confidence of the person using the 1911 because of the fast, easy visual confirmation. It works for me if I'm inside the waistband and I reach back and I can push that cocked hammer and I feel it's in the on safe position. I know that my trigger is deactivated and that is um, much more comfortable for me. So, uh, these are some of the benefits of the 1911 fast safety system. I'm Mark Allen for BH Spring Solutions.